Hey everybody. So the video about to watch is a video that I shot previously and had posted for a while. Um, but I gave some wrong information when I was um, doing the diagnostics on this boat, which you can clearly see in the title of the video. So what I've done instead is I pulled the video. Uh, I've done a voiceover instead of actually the sound from the video. So most of it's all been voiced over and uh, where I actually uh, explain what's actually going on in the video um, without the, the information um, that I gave during the video because I didn't want I don't want to put anything out there that's incorrect so um, that's, that's the whole point of pulling the video uh, I don't want any bad information or misinformation out there so I um, hope you enjoy the clip um, if you've already seen the previous one I apologize for the misinformation um, but hopefully this clears things up and gives you more accurate and detailed um, explanation of what's going on Hi everybody, welcome back to Chris Peters DIY. I'm here with my friend Eric. Uh, he's got a really nice big boat with a couple, what size engines are these? They're 454 Crusader, a marinized uh, General Motors engine. He's having an issue with his uh, fuel pumps are cutting out on one of the, on the port, port motor. Port, port so, engine, yep. Uh, we suspect a fuel problem, so today we're gonna test the uh, fuel pump relays and see uh, if it's losing power or if it's a pressure issue. He's replaced your, the traditional Bosch relays, as you see here, with a couple of the traditional uh, Ford-style relays. Um, these were burning out on him, so the uh, Ford relays have, have, have withstood. So we're going to be testing the relays here uh, to see if uh, he's cutting out, cutting out power. All I'm going to use for this test is uh, your standard multimeter. All right, we're going to go down in here where the two motors are sitting, and he's got the relay mounted behind this panel here. And he's done a really good job of labeling each pole. If you guys know anything about relays, you know the 85 and the 86. Over here will be your 30, and over here will be your 87. And we're going to be testing to see whether or not he's got power coming from the control unit here, making sure that the power going from here to the fuel pump is good, and also checking the uh, signal source and make sure it, it's not cutting out. Okay, so I've got the grounding wire hooked up to the ground right here, and I've got the other meter other side of the meter, positive side, hooked up to your 86, which is your signal wire coming from the ECU that's in the distributor. And we're gonna test to see if we're losing power. He's gotta get the boat to about 4,000 RPM to get the power or the, the engine to shut off and you can watch the meter drop off when he gets to 4,000 RPM. All right guys, this is kind of where I screw up a little bit. Here I'm pointing at the meter because I was explaining that, as you saw in the last footage, that the meter was cutting out due to the fuel pump relay cutting out, which is true. Um, and here I'm pointing at the distributor because the ECU that controls the relay is also in there, which is also true, and that the knock sensor, which I am pointing to here, um, was causing that, or what I thought was causing that ECU to, to uh, shut off and here is where I'm pointing at now is what I thought at the time was an exhaust leak or excuse me an intake leak but it's actually an exhaust leak that's an exhaust um, port going exhaust crossover so that was the misinformation I gave and I thought it was an intake leak because that's part of the intake manifold so um, I explained in this part here that the intake leak was causing a uh, a retarded timing which is causing a pre-detonation which was not actually the case we believe now it's a wiring issue start her up
And here I'm getting ready to explain that that's an intake leak and you can hear it, which you can and you hear it, but it's actually an exhaust leak. That exhaust crossover is designed to uh, heat up the, uh, the throttle body um, and that's what's blown out. In the next video, um, you'll, the next video I make, you see me replacing that exhaust or the intake manifold, pulling this whole thing off and replacing it. Um, so yeah, that'll be in the next video. But yeah, that was that was the wrong information. That's not a that's not an intake leak. That's an exhaust leak. Stay tuned for the repair video. We'll, we'll be taking the uh, intake manifold off of the engine, um, doing some deep dive diagnostic into why the gasket blew out in the first place because he had these engines rebuilt um, months ago, um, and then figure out if there's any warranty work or anything to do after that. So uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, uh, remember why pay someone to do it when you can do it yourself.